Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Dial Town. Let's regret. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hey, Nick. Oh wow, that was that was normal. No one said. Oh my god, I don't know. How, I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> how how are you both feeling? Full of the joy of your birthday. Oh for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I got away um, with it. <laughs> no, never. That genuinely hmm. threw me for a loop. I'm currently mint flavored and I refuse to elaborate. <laughs> so yes, it's time to introduce the two lunatics uh, who, you know, moon lovers uh, in, in in the Discord chat. Uh, first of all, we have Bisected Brioche. Say hi, Bri. As I said before, I'm minty and I refuse to elaborate. And we have a big goggles. Say hi, goggles. I think for this for this bit, I'm just going to say, please refer to me as Moon Moon. As Moon Moon? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> damn it, Moon Moon. Count myself as thoroughly disgusted and we haven't even started the game. Okay, moving on from that. Should we go meet Mayor Mingus? Yes. <laughs> like, sorry, like nah? <laughs> like nah? Yeah. Nah? Yeah? Like, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> I shan't return to this desk, henceforth and forever. That's it, game end. <laughs> game. I wouldn't put it past the game, to be honest. Oh, what an office. Ah, uh, ha. Huh. Nice office. <laughs> okay. Definitely the floor sleeping. Cozy. Or... Do you think Mayor Mingus would let me sleep on her floor? <gasps> First of all, no, not for any amount of money. Secondly, speaking of money, in this imaginary scenario, are you paying rent? I can offer her one fresh duck egg a week, but that's as high as I'll go. I think she'd ask for more than that, honestly. What? More? Do I look like I'm made of duck eggs? Where is the mayor anyway? Probably got up from her nap to take a wicked piss. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do that? You have a nap and you wake up and you're like, Jesus, I didn't need the toilet at all before I laid down and now... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> or is it just me? Do I need to see a doctor? <laughs> no, no, it's not an unfamiliar feeling. Yeah. I think the real question here is, though, where would the uh, protagonist actually be getting duck's eggs from? That's a really good question. Unless, are they are they selling their own eggs? As duck eggs? I That's wouldn't put worry. it past us. Also, are we a duck? Well, huh. We've worked out we're not a uh, centipede. And I think that's about as far as we've gotten. I'm still not convinced. Uh, I hope it's a cat scratching post. It could be both. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, no! Disgusting! That is not a texture you want. I feel uncomfortable. Mmm. Mmm. Oh god. Oh. I am distressed. Does anyone if else, when they take a nap, wake up like feeling worse? Like, like you fall asleep feeling reasonably sleepy but normal but you wake up like somehow your gullet has inverted and it almost feels like you're drowning or is that just me that bit's nope. just you that's normal okay <laughs> okay fair enough <laughs> mixed reviews I, on that <laughs> i just feel like the human embodiment of sandpaper sometimes oh yeah like extremely dry or yeah just dry and, mm. and uncomfortable and just why did i do this <laughs> Everyone in chat is discussing like... the dildo. <laughs> <laughs> it's valid. That's but... fair. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah. We're talking about waking up feeling like we're dying. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like the universe itself rejects me and I must push back. I mean, fair. I mean, that's just sandpaper, isn't it? Yes. No, sandpaper is what you use to reshape the universe to your will. Oh, I see. That's yeah, where fair. I'm going wrong you... when I wipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shall I shall I continue? Please. Yep. Let's grit our teeth and continue. <coughs> Which means you've got a few minutes to kill. Narrator, tell me a story. Once upon a time there was a green cryptid named Fuckface V2. They got a job. The end. I don't like that ending. Tell me another story. I'm tired of babysitting you. Please find something to preoccupy yourself with so I may rest. Well. No, do not spray. <laughs> <laughs> inspect rug, inspect fireplace, spray. <laughs> no, inspect the fireplace. I All right. Do not spray. All right. All right, fine. We won't spray. 
Think of cleaning oh, yeah. the goddamn walls. Uh, you're looking for lore? Clues on who the mayor of Dialtown might be? I'm hoping there'll be a loose, single, wrapped, boiled candy on the mantelpiece. You are a disgrace. It's a lot of cats. Oh, you see a boiled candy? Nary a sweet for mine gullet. Oh, that's it then. Let's fuck face v2. I believe that's Callum Crown. I'm guessing so. Um. Uh. <laughs> fuck face v2, are you okay? No, I wanted a boiled candy or a wrapped peppermint, damn it. Oh. Hey, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Everyone is, it, the chat is rioting and I think they're all spraying. What the fuck is going on? I don't know, leave them alone. They'll be fine. You seem kind of fixated on the- I don't care about the painting. Fancy schmancy frame pictures are cringe. Fuck race V2, keep your voice down. Or what, huh? <laughs> oh shit. Did you just hear that? Is- was that a... Sound like it came from under the desk. Mm. Oh, a little cat in a hat, no less. Oh, how good. It thinks it's the mayor. Jesus, fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Cat, cat, woman, cat, cat. Get us out of your system. Hebel wench. <laughs> cat, cat. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, had the grave misfortune of meeting in person again. I am Mayor Mingus, Dowtown's beloved mayor, once again elected to my current office by an overwhelming majority of the masses, eternally and woefully at your service. She's the one that's been sending SWAT squadrons to other towns with the same name to try and get them to change their name, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Hello, Mrs. Mayor. <laughs> Mrs. Can anyone hear like a lot of purring just in the background of this? No, There's no that's out. just you, Nick. <laughs> it's just me <laughs> purring. <laughs> Are we trying to convince Nick's going mad? Okay, I'll try harder. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is a joke. Nick is not my boss. No, it's true. Anyway. Not after the not after the unionization, I fired you all. I was saying Nick would have had to pay us first. No spouse or partner. I don't have the time to date. Human connection is a time-consuming ordeal. Besides, have you seen the degenerates who attend the speed dates held over at the bar down the street? Oh, why didn't we just do that? We'd have gotten in so much easier. Now I'm pointing out that Mayor Mingus clearly has, and that explains... <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. Bone Lord, if you don't end up sitting across from a mad scientist, it'll be a legally undead raver or a crazed conspiracy nut job. Hmm. So about... About Bigfoot. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Never again. So, you're our single then? I want the record to show that once these sleeping pills fully wear off, I will shred you to ribbons for saying that. Only reason I haven't yet for the stolen carpet. Sorry, I've just never seen someone with a head like yours before. Speaking of, what's with the fuzz head? I've only seen pre-dial-up cat heads in old picture books for wee toddlers and the like. Well... You see, someone tried to teach me the alphabet once, unsuccessfully. Well, I... I ended up just memorizing the first two numbers <laughs> and then mumble-wrapped the rest. <laughs> first two numbers? Do you mean letters? Are you trying to say letters? Yeah, word numbers. <sighs> if you must know, I had this head genetically engineered by our top scientists. Just for me. Why? Being part cat makes me more agile and gives me cat-like reflexes, which is a surprisingly significant boon when you're trying to run a whole city. Well, I mean, she um wanted to be a cat girl and she just went for it. Yeah. Mad respects. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad Karen didn't have the uh, the funding. <laughs> just a horse uh, head. I think this would be uh, fine. Yeah. I mean, she's trans. It's just science now. <laughs> a normal human, nay, even a just engineered badger person couldn't fathom obtaining my multitasking skills. Huh? Also, it makes me cuter. Who wouldn't vote for a cat? A dog? Well, dogs don't vote. Yeah, but the only dog we've met so far is God, so, like, you really want to piss that dude off? Can you really see God bothering to vote? <laughs> Good yeah. point, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't care for the trappings of civilization, including democracy. He shit uh... himself trying to write his name. <laughs> yep. And with that attitude, the legislation they need to vote will never pass. Yes. I have a hell of a legacy to live up to, so it helps that I'm- A cat? Shit, I meant feline woman. Fuck, I meant a uh, pussy person. Oh, phone god, that's her- that one's way worse. <laughs> <laughs>
Please pretend I stopped talking after the word cat. And you mm. must be fuckface V2. <laughs> oh, you tricked me into swearing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no, wait, wait. I suggested fuckface V2 in the first place. I tricked myself into swearing. <laughs> you played yourself. Well done, Bray. Oh, God, I was thinking the moment she said our name, I was like, aha, so you have heard of me. So once again, the game is in my head. <laughs> aha, so you've heard of me. I played myself. I played myself like a minty papery fiddle. <laughs> yes, that's certainly one way of putting it. I've written you quite a number of letters regarding the makeshift home you've assembled on Dart Hand's public property. Ah, yes, me pork tent. Ah, yes, your pork tent. Lord, I figured my officers were exaggerating, or had somehow pepper sprayed themselves before inspecting you. When I described the hue of your skin and the, the generous number of nipples you so conspicuously possess. What? What does con conspicu- Put a shirt on. I'll give you a shirt. I'll give you a free vote Mingus t-shirt if you never take it off in public. And advertise your next mayoral campaign for free? Pay me a tin of dog food and I'll do it. Wait. Will I have to pay income tax on the dog food? I'd be kind of bummed out if you ate 20% of my hard-earned dog food. Good lord, this is what I'm up against. I even sent a hit squad to- Whoops. Sorry, I meant to say police officers. Wh why did you- Why? Sorry, force of habit. I'm sure they were dressed as cops. Aren't they always? Do do you often send? And you scared them off. Spooked their attack mats with your tense, pungent odours. Odors? I prefer to think of them as intentionally cultivated aromas. Shh. Shut up. I have a bargain for you. I will give you a free apartment oh, no. and eight tins of dog food if you leave the park. That's a good offer. Yep, that's a pretty good deal, actually. What's to stop me taking the dog food and just returning to my old tent? I will burn the tent. I will reassemble the tent. The tent will be ashes. I will use super glue. You can't. Yeah! <laughs> I was about to say, I'm looking forward to hearing this, having had to do various forms of gorilla noises. Oh, that was amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, change of plan. I'll give you 8,000 in cash, a fast car, and a handgun, as long as you immediately drive out of town in any direction and keep driving in that direction. Whatever happens, happens. My deepest apologies, Crabcakes. Did you just call me? But I'm hitched to this here pad, you dig? No, I don't dig, my dude. Except perhaps you're grave if you keep talking like a weird surf from Mars. It's a miracle our uh, Oliver is still alive. <laughs> Getting back to the topic of, uh, on hand, what on earth are you talking about? Oh, yeah, we haven't told Mingus what we actually want. She's going to flip. <laughs> Here we go. Well, cats are good at that. <laughs> what kind of venture could you possibly be up to that would require you to stick around this town of all places? Eggs. I'm planning to lay eggs somewhere in town. You'll never guess where. I'm sorry. Did you just say you're planning to lay eggs somewhere in town? Is this something I need to deal with? Guess. Guess where I'm going to lay them. I'm going to be a parental mayor. I should have sent in the hit squad. Why did I assume should have been the hit squad first try? Why on earth did you keep asking, taking half measures, Mint? Oh, right. You're still here. Hey, I wanted to ask you. So, I was over at the fireplace and... You must have been examining my painting. That's my grandfather. You know, Callum Crown. Important law figure for this game. Mmm. Here comes the deep law. The world wasn't always the way it is right now. Oh, no. The first ever phone head was my poor paw's invention. He was a self-made man, a visionary. After taking his phone heads regional, he became mayor of Dialtown before becoming a state senator and eventually our nation's greatest president. Quite a legacy, huh? Every day I wake up, <laughs> I'll just give everyone a second to think of the meme, stare intently at the ceiling and hope to live up to even a fraction of his greatness. But he's not mayor or president anymore. No, we tragically lost my grandfather years ago. Did he, did he go the way of Harold Holt? But his legacy has far from been forgotten. Can I show you something? I don't know. Can you? Keep in mind, I can kill you if slash when I so desire. Uh-huh. Then why haven't you yet? 
I found this in a box of old things that belonged to my grandfather. A lovely relic from a much simpler time. There he is, right in front of the crowd. He was truly a man of the people, for the people. But was he a man in the people, around the people? Quite you. Dialtown 1966. Wish you were here. Huh. And, uh... Do all postcards utter highly reverberated narrations as you read them? You have a disease. Right, yeah. You know, that cat's the spitting image of you. Yeah, well... Had to model my head off something, didn't I? Not many cats walking around with flesh heads today, are there? Nah, I guess not. Say, did I see faded text on the back? What's it say? Oh, it's just an old love note my grandfather wrote for my grandmother. Ew, yucky cooties pass. Yes, this postcard actually gave me the idea to run for mayor in the first place. This photo is truly a historical testimonial from a better time. One day, I will clean up Dialtown, and I will perfectly recreate this postcard. <laughs> this time, my grandfather's legacy. Yeah, wow, this is advanced toilet paper. A potential fecal tapestry. How, how dare you? You... you... Why on earth did you bring up the painting if you weren't interested in discussing it? I didn't bring up your painting, you did. I brought up the fireplace. Well, why else would you have been fixated on the fireplace for so long? What else of interest could have possibly captivated you for that length of time? I wanted a wrapped boiled candy. I wanted to see if you had a few loose ones lying up there. Are you si- I'd settle for a piece of marzipan at this point. Okay. I'm going to give you exactly 10 seconds to explain why you entered my office uninvited before the claws come out. I want you to stamp Bigfoot's half-filled in and half-eaten immigration papers. Yeah. <laughs> Every asinine utterance that leaves your gob is somehow unfathomably worse than the last. Every time you speak, I think, yep, they just peaked. There's no way they could possibly top that. Oh, you and me I both, that's man, Mingus. <laughs> <laughs> this game in a nutshell. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And yet. Great. So is that a yes? Are you kidding me? I know this is likely quite a shock finding out about Bigfoot and all. You think I'm unaware of Bigfoot's presence in Dialtown? For crying out me out, he constantly loiters around the bank in Uptown. He hardly <laughs> keeps a low profile. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I perfect. Believe me, I'm keenly aware of Bigfoot's where me abouts. Wait, you <laughs> you knew? Why he, yes. So why not deport him if he's an illegal Sasquatch? Well, he eats ticks and fleas for one. He also scares stray dogs away from the woods, preventing Dialtown from getting hit with another dingo infestation. I swear, it's never a fun infestation. Like a capybara herd. <laughs> a capybara herd would just be... Uh, yeah, that'd, that'd be the most just... beautiful thing on earth. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a wombat herd, like a wombat infestation, leaving cute poos everywhere. Oh, squirrel herds. Squirrel herds are where it's at. So, you're not deporting Bigfoot? Lean yet. It's a no-brainer. His presence is a net positive for Dialtown's ecosystem. So will you sign Bigfoot's papers then? Mm, yeah. That's risky. What if he files for a passport, then flies to Cuba and gets arrested? It's almost definitely make international headlines and ruin Bigfoot for future, all future generations forever. I don't understand. The whole point of Bigfoot is that he just scurries around the woods, motion blur ape. Only temporarily joining forces with an occasional human child of Bigfoot's choosing in order to take down a greedy corporation taking deforestation way too far. <laughs> with a possible musical number at the very end of the film. What? That's the very essence of Bigfoot. Maybe I can make it worth your while? Move out of your tent. No. Then we are at an imper se. <laughs> <laughs> Unless... You would like to make, say, a sizable donation towards the financial upkeep of, um, Dartan's infrastructure. Donation? <laughs> financial? Infrastructure? Dial Town! Why do you emphasize that last one? We are literally in Dial Town. No, 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 no. I think you misunderstand, Your Majesty. I meant, I actually just wanted to shamelessly bribe <laughs> you. 
I got that. I was giving you the, the opportunity to. <laughs> oh my god. You are a Mornyan. <laughs> I can't go through with this. You'll somehow sell me down the river by blurting something out to the wrong person. And as I'm pot cat now, I would hate to swim. <laughs> Too risky. You're right, I totally would. I'm not to be trusted. Oh, wait. Oh, no, hang on. You just stated that you aren't to be trusted. Honey, doll, your majesty. That was the old me. Don't call me. Look, I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Not for any amount of money. You think I have money? I live in a tent of the park. You're a fool. Why are we even having this conversation, then? I'll give you a stick of horse jerky. You want me to jeopardise my whole career for dried horse flesh? I mean, Tesco tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Are my video editing notes going to once again have to reference the horse meat scandal? Uh, I mean, is any good? Wait, no. No. That's... Please, leave my office at once. I have a pressing nap to return to. I wouldn't want anything clawful to happen. <laughs> yeah, you can boo that one. <laughs> I refuse. I don't. <laughs> right. <laughs> Radio surf mama. Time for me to liggity split. I will call the hit squad. You and everyone you know will be riddled with bullets. You mean the hit squad that failed last time because of my stench? Well, they can wear gas masks, can't they? <laughs> well, true. Do you mean what you want to be Swiss cheese? Well, do you? Cheese is groovy, man. I'm chill with that vibe. L E A V E. I don't know why, but I got a real Austin Powers sort of sense from that last line. <laughs> Jesus groovy, man. <laughs> Cowabunga, radical. Catch you on the next wave, dude. Stop saying such things. And don't call me dude. <laughs> that was a disaster. Yeah, it turns out I suck at politics. You suck at conversing with, conversing with humans. Does she really count as a human, though? Does it matter, given how badly you bombed when you spoke to her? Either way, with that bridge doused in metaphorical gasoline and lit a set of flame, you are now unable to, legally, integrate Bigfoot into Amer a British society. This is so sad. Can we restore Bigfoot citizenship? Using the word restore implies that Bigfoot was once a British citizen. Have you heard my theory on... Bigfoot was not a member of the British royal family. <laughs> you don't know, you weren't there!